Core concept. Microservices architecture. Instead of building one giant application, think of it like building many smaller, independent applications. We call these microservices. Why do we do this? Well, it gives us a lot of flexibility. Each service can be developed, deployed, and scaled independently. This means we can update one part of the application without affecting the others. Also, if one service fails, the others can still function, making our application more resilient. And because the code bases are smaller, they're easier to understand and update, which makes maintenance a breeze. How do these microservices work together? They communicate with each other using well-defined rules called APIs. Now, let's talk about the patterns we use when building these microservices. The diagram shows several common patterns. These patterns help us solve specific challenges. Database per service pattern. Imagine each microservice has its own separate storage for data. This keeps the services independent and allows each service to use the best database for its needs. However, managing many databases can be complex. Event sourcing pattern. Imagine keeping a detailed history of every change made to data. This provides a record of what happened and allows us to see past states. But it requires a lot of storage. API gateway pattern. Imagine a single entry point for all requests from users. This simplifies how users interact with the application and handles common tasks like security. But the gateway can become a bottleneck if not designed well. Saga pattern. Imagine managing complex transactions that involve multiple microservices. This ensures data consistency across services and handles failures gracefully. But it can be complex to implement. BFF, backend for frontend, pattern. Imagine creating specialized backends for different user interfaces, like mobile versus web. This optimizes performance for each user interface and improves user experience. But it can lead to code duplication. Sidecar pattern. Imagine adding helper components alongside the main microservice. This handles common tasks like logging and monitoring and keeps the main service focused on its core job. But it increases resource usage. CRS command query responsibility segregation. Pattern. Imagine separating read and write operations. This optimizes performance for each type of operation and improves scalability. But it requires careful data synchronization. Circuit breaker pattern. Imagine preventing a failing service from bringing down the entire application. This improves system stability and prevents cascading failures. But it requires careful configuration. In simple terms, the diagram and this explanation show how to build complex applications using lots of small, independent pieces. Each pattern is a tool that helps solve a specific problem, making the overall application more reliable, flexible, and easier to maintain.